And he's a penny in the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is brought to you by you, Sider. A new era of nutritional science is here. This is a C-class bout contested at 66 kg over five one and a half minute rounds, and it is for the Raw Combat League Southern Area title. Both fighters are in the ring and are ready. The crowd is ready. I hope you at home are ready and good to go. Introducing first the fighter in the blue. And the man standing opposite him in the red right corner representing MCMA, Brian Nash! We now hand you over to your fans and then to a referee. Right, so as we start the second half now, we've got our C class bout in the welterweight division. It's a southern area title between Sean Baxter of McGuigan Muay Thai and Brian Knapp of MCMA. I'm joined in the commentary box by Dave Fensham. Have you seen any of these boys fight before, Dave? No, I've not seen either of them fight. Uh, I did watch Baxter warming up, though, and uh, looks very sharp with his shots. Hits pads very well, but uh, it doesn't we know, always transfer it to the ring. It doesn't always transfer to the ring, that's right. We know, we know plenty see. of people who can hit pads well. But right. I'm sure if our promoter, Christian Knowles, and his co-promoter, Katie Rishover, if they've matched them for the Southern Area title, must be two decent young chaps. Yep, I'm not sure what all the chat is around. I think they're questioning the knee supports, is uh, the, the nuts and bolts of it, what I get. And they're just saying, uh, is that allowed? <coughs> and the uh, referee's just going to check them that they are just supports. And he's happy that they are support and they may continue. I think he's just checking he's not padded up. Like you say, 66.6 .6 kilos C-class boat for the Southern Area Raw Combat League title. Not always the wisest move, is it, Dave, to give away some form of weakness? You know, if you did have a, a slight injury to the knee, you know, the first thing I'd do if I was <laughs> if I was Sean Baxter is come out and hammer the legs and see, see, how, <laughs> exactly see how he feels same. about that. Exactly the same. I, I'm always called mean for that, but that is just fighting. And if someone's wearing a knee support, I think just smash him in the knees. Or, or, or smash his legs in. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, of course, yeah. It's common sense. Fighting's fighting, I'm afraid. At least his knee support match is short anyway. I know, I do I do appreciate a good bit of colour coordination. Measured start from both gentlemen here. Yeah. Nice run and low kick there by Brian. Um, yeah, slow start. Kicking versus boxing at the moment. Blue corner doing more kicking, red corner doing more boxing. That's a good, good uh, kick landed there from Blue. Just as he eats two low kicks in a row. 
Back still looked like he was stepping in to test the clinch, but Knapp just stepping out of range. Good low kick again. Good way to slow your man down, just yeah, chop the legs. Lovely right cross there as well, Dave, over the top from, from Brian Knapp. Seems to be finding a little bit of rhythm. He was all boxing to start with. Failed attempt at the spin and back kick there by Sean Baxter in the blue corner. Pretty even round there, yeah. not much in it. Even opening round from both gents, just finding their range, finding their distance. Seen on the replay there as Brian Knapp steps in two or three times just with boxing, not really finishing much with kicks. Towards the end of the round, landed landed with a couple of low kicks, which probably there's one of them, there's another one. Probably saved them well in terms of evening the round out. Yeah, like you say, he was dominant with the hands there, he just didn't pop the kick on the end. It'll be interesting to see if he can now link up the two, <coughs> two disciplines moving into the second round. Nice fast low kick there by Sean Baxter to start the round. Good solid right hand over the top landing from Red. And uh, really knocked his man back with that. Knows he's shouting his man to come forward. Another Again. good right hand down the middle, Dave. Sean not phased as yet. Seems to be coming back strong with some low kicks. A well-timed left body kick there, scoring as uh, Knapp comes in with the hands. You notice the way some of the fighters early on in their career, especially at C-class level, they, they don't so they, they follow each other around the ring. They don't really cut the ring off very well, do they? Well, that done his leg there. Just kick the leg if I was bit if I was yeah. in blue. And he, he needs to keep kicking that leg. Just stay out, jab, low kick, jab, low kick. Brian needs to keep working on that boxing, letting the hands go down the middle. You can see Blue Corner looking down at the leg, look. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to see it. He's doing the right thing, Blue, just chopping the leg. You can see a, a welt forming on the, the lead left leg of uh, Mr. Knapp. Knows he keeps him standing for a second to take a deep breath. Big Christian Knowles there assisting the MCMA gym. I think Brian must go down to the Knowles Academy maybe once or twice a week, do some training with him. the right's in the right leg, they need to ice his left leg. Yeah, he's not looking in the corner, very well spotted Dave, they've got some ice on the right leg, and it's his left leg that seems to be taking most of the punishment with the low kicks, uh, I'd seriously consider switching the side of the ice pack. <laughs> somebody, somebody just trying to take your food. <laughs> I've killed for less, Dave. <laughs> Here we go, round three. Beautiful uh, left body kick there from Blue. Oh! Spinning heel kick to the head, which looked like it landed, but just didn't lack power at the end there. And uh, Brian Knapp rode that well. Red corner's got to be careful reaching down for that low kick. You can see the low kick coming. You can see the welts forming on that left leg. 
Yeah, he's still not blocking though. That was just spinning, spinning back kick to the top of the thigh. He really needs to get in and start letting them hands go. Yeah, his left leg's about to go. Baxter's noticed it. But he just needs to keep it simple, Baxter. Jab, low kick, jab, low kick, and he can stop the fight in this round, I reckon. Yeah, he seems in some pain. Credit to um, Brian Knapp, though, who's yeah. coming back really, really strong. He's not giving up. He's a fighter. He's a yeah. warrior, and it looks like he, you know, he, he's really doing everything he can to go and win this fight, but it's going to be very difficult if he's got a weak knee. Yeah, he's showing immense heart, but Blue Corner's making it more difficult than he needs to. He could have finished it in that last round, I think. But, oh, credit to Brian Knapp. Massive credit heart. to Brian Knapp there coming back and, and showing huge heart, Dave. Absolute heart of a fighter there. Baxter just needs to keep it simple. Jab, low kick, jab, low kick. I reckon four more low kicks and it's done. He we'll surely see. can't take many more low kicks. And they're icing his right leg again. I'm not going to lie, it's confusing. The scheduled five. Baxter's lovely body kicking going in there. There he goes for the leg again. That's one. I said four. Let's see. Those how many. heel hook kicks are dangerous. He's got terrific balance when he throws them as well. A lot of people when he throw them they become very off balanced afterwards. He's He's really able to control where he is in his position. There's That's another two. low kick. I really don't know how many more of them he can take. That one was to the body. Probably not a bad tactic to get into clinch. Yeah, Even, true. you know, yep. give himself a chance of winning on, on the inside with the knees and because you don't think he's going to beat this kid on the outside now. Uh, Knapp's taking the fight to him, which is really working well for him because on the outside, he's not blocking the low kicks, which is putting him in real that, danger. That's exactly what I'm saying. He's, he's in massive danger through not blocking these low kicks. Maybe clinch could be a way of scraping these last two rounds. There's a nice low kick of his own there, causing some damage. You can see Sean Baxter's leg is really starting to, to welt up as well. Yeah, fair play to him. No disrespect to Brian Knapp, but I wrote him off earlier because of that leg. They really need to get some ice on that left leg. Unless he's got an injury on that right knee that I don't yeah, know about. Yeah, perhaps because you keep icing the right leg, but his left leg's the one that seems to be to us more in danger. But as you say, Dave, perhaps it's something we don't know, you know. Right, yeah, it must be. What would you be saying to Brian Knapp now if you were his corner team, Dave? Because he's down in the fight. Firstly, check the kick block that kick and walk in and clinch. I think he'd be in more pain checking the kick. It's hard to say. If his knee's that bad. But he's got to go for it, hasn't he? Yeah. There, he's smashing the leg himself. He's damaging the left leg of Sean Baxter. Wow, massive, massive right hand there. He's got a chance here if he takes this round big. He needs to throw his hands in. Now he's blocking the kick. That's right. much better. Where was this last round and the round before that? He's actually blocking it, blocked his first low kick. Yeah. 
He's come out all guns blazing here, Brian. Whatever Christian Knoll said to him in that corner has worked. He's, he's actually got a chance of winning the fight if it stays like this. He needs to come forward with his hands more. Can't help but feel that Sean Baxter's making hard work of this fight. Whereas simple simplicity would have won it. But fair play to Brian Knapp. Look how strong he is still. He's come on really strong towards the end of this fight. You tell you what, this is a proper title fight, Dave. Good little, good little very, fight there. Very, very close fight, I thought. Yeah, over to the judges to call that one. Yeah, that's what they're there for. <laughs> Which way would you go? I'll go the way of the judges. <laughs> Want to bring Danny Kendrick into this now. Been watching the fight with us, patiently waiting to pass his wisdom on. Which way do you think this fight gone, is going to go with the judges, Danny? But you know, early on, when I watched them shaping up, I seriously thought it was going to be a blue fight. But you know what? The determination coming forward from the red corner. I mean, what do you score more? Low kicks or punches? For me, they're an even quantity in this sport. It's Muay Thai. Punches, low kicks, even quantity to me. Uh, I, I think the judges have got quite, quite something to chew over on this fight, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, definitely. But all the action, Raw Combat League, these two guys have laid it down in front of a massive crowd. And it goes down to your judges' scorecards. And we have, after five rounds of Muay Thai action, a winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the blue.